Well, for months, the CHP blamed the person killed in this wrong way wreck for causing it. But now it is the other driver in court facing charges. 10 News reporter Michael Chen talked to the victim's family and they are determined to find justice. Emotions are high. I mean, yeah, um, just a lot of emotions, to be quite honest. Uh, feeling sad, feeling just in a plethora of emotions. A tough day for a brother still grieving. Lauren Freeman in court today for a preliminary hearing almost a year to the day of that deadly wrong way crash on the transition ramp between I-5 and I-8 near Old Town. The 35 year old Justin Callahan driving the Volkswagen Jetta died at the scene while Freeman and her passenger in the Toyota Camry suffered major injuries. The CHB initially thought Callahan was driving the wrong way eastbound in the westbound lanes. But family members told us it didn't make sense because he should have been heading to Ocean Beach from the South Bay after work and not away from it. After a more thorough probe, investigators determined it was Freeman who was driving the wrong way and driving under the influence, arresting her in November on charges including murder and vehicular manslaughter while intoxicated. We're just hoping for justice that, that uh, you know, the truth came out through the CHP and now we have the justice system that we have to go through. When it happened, I was talking to my friend in the car and we were kind of like, whoa, you know, did you see that? You're crazy. And on the stand, one witness who says he was driving on the eight headed towards Sunset Cliffs when he and his passenger saw a light colored four door car race past him going the wrong way. I was in the car and I noticed headlights coming in my direction. And it was one of those things like you see it and then when it registered, it had kind of drove past me. We should learn more about the DUI aspect as this hearing stretches into tomorrow. We did reach out to the contingent of Freeman supporters. They declined to comment. Michael Chen, 10 News.